Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick little um, video on the homework for today. We're working on customary measurements, and I'm just going to do a couple here. So we measure things using length, width, capacity, and we're using different things like inch, foot, mile for length. You can look over this come up with your, some of your own ideas of what something weighs. Here we filled this out in class, but one foot equals 12 inches. One yard is three feet. One mile is 5,280. Okay, so we filled that out in class. All right, we also did this one in class. But here's where we get interesting. So what is our conversion for feet to inches? This number attaches to feet, so it converts 17,200 feet to inches. Well, let's put our ratio right here, our conversion. And I'm doing this on a mouse, so it's not ideal, but it, it will work. I wanted to get this for you out. So our conversion is... One, we our conversion is twelve inches equals one foot, and you can do. I should probably do inches. I'll do in for inches, and ft for feet. I'll make it nice and okay. There we go. Now the question is, if I have inches on top, I need inches over here. If I have feet on bottom, I need feet over here. This has to be the same. If I have cats, I have to have cats. If I have boys, I have to have boys. If I have guinea pigs, I have to have guinea pigs. They have to be the same across. The numerators have to be the same and the denominators. Otherwise, it is not a proportion. Okay, so we have 17,200 feet. Feet, feet. Okay, so I write it down there. Okay, now we have to ask ourselves, how am I going to get from here to here? So I can go this way. This is just like last one where we did ratios. Or I can go this way. I'm going to go from here to here because 1 times 17,200 17, is 17,200. So if I times this by 17,200 and I times this by 17,200, I will get my answer. Now, you may use calculators, so go ahead, get your calculator out. And type in 12 times 17,200. And I get, so this will be x, x equals 206,400. And this will be inches. Now, did I answer what I needed to answer? Yes. The other thing you can do is check this. If I times this by that, I get that answer. If I times this by that, I'll get that same answer. If that, if by going across this times that and this times that equals the same, 206,400. If that equals the same when you do that, when you actually put in the calculator and do it, then these are equal. Okay, and that is the right answer. So there's my answer. All right, now stop the next one. Okay, this one we did in class. I'll do it with you quick since we did it in class. You could stop it if you haven't done it and try it. But we want yards to feet. So what's my conversion? Well, one foot is three 
yards. All right, so I have 96 yards. Yards is going to go here, and feet are going to go here. I'll put 96 here because yards, 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 yards. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I messed up. Look at this. I just did it off the hand, off my, it doesn't, one foot doesn't equal three yards. One yard equals three feet. One yard equals three feet. Okay, I am not going to start this over. We caught it in time. And I'm just making this before I have to leave. So we'll keep that. We didn't mess it up too bad. So 96 yards, yards, yards. And feet. How many feet? Okay, so 1 times something is that. 1 times 96 equals that. So do the same thing down there. We are ready for an IEP meeting in 110 for BG. IEP meeting in 110 for BG. 3 times 96, put that in your calculator, 3, three times 96 is 288, okay, there's your answer. All right, then this one don't do, we're going to do this one in class, this one we did also in class, so go ahead and try it. Pause right now and try it. All right, I'm going to do this quick, and then you can try the next ones. All right, the Swanson family drove 164 miles. How many feet did they go? So we want miles to feet. All right, so one mile equals 5,280 feet. All right. Okay. So 164 miles and this is x. This times 164. So times 164 and this times 164. Is that all right. Okay, pause it. Okay, I'm not... Okay, pause it and try this. Okay, if you are having trouble, they're trying to see if she's tall enough to ride on the ride. So they want feet to inches. So they know she's five feet. So you're going to have to do the feet to inches. One foot to 12 inches. And then over here, you're going to put your your feet, how tall she is, and then see if she's taller than 55. Okay. Um, we did this in class, but I'll do this with you right now. All right. So um, let me think now. 16 ounces is 1 pound... 2,000, I don't know what my mouse is acting funny now, 2,000 pounds is one ton. Okay, so figure out this. So we're going from tons to pounds. Okay, eight fluid ounces is one cup, two cups is one pint, two pints is one quart, Four quarts is one gallon. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. Pints to cups. So, go ahead and try these. And um, it isn't too bad.